Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Burstigy back here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here to talk about some Dragon Ball games. Now, if you weren't made aware already, um, there is a live stream going on. Uh, the Bandai Namco Entertainment. They are currently showcasing the Breakers. I'm sure they'll show a trailer of uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's DLC for the Bardock special in a little bit. But right now they're showing off the new character uh, or the new raider. Majin Buu and I, I do want to talk about that a little bit so we're going to get straight into it um, but there is some stuff to talk about for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot which I will get into first because it's not as much as the breakers so first we have our first little scan here uh, thanks to DBS Hype for providing this um, th this is it I mean we're going to get that Bardock special that was uh, I believe it was leaked a while ago um, you basically are going to be playing the special. I'm not sure if they're going to ever do like the new version that we've seen via DBS Broly. Um, but right now it looks like we're just doing Z stuff. So there is going to be a total of three DLCs coming and I'm curious what those will be, but I do think that they're going to be Z oriented. So maybe like Broly cooler, uh, stuff like that. I, I don't think we should expect any super stuff. I'd be surprised if we did. Um, you know, the Battle of Gods and Resurrection of F were originally under the Dragon Ball Z title, so that makes sense why they, why those are there. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super Broly, and Dragon Ball Super Superhero aren't under Dragon Ball Z, you know, name right now. Um, so they aren't probably going to be showing up anytime soon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what that is there. And the other thing is that they got announced for PS5 and Xbox Series X, so that means that we should be getting like the game basically will be supported in a 4k 60 fps format hopefully uh and i think that's going to be really cool and really nice to just have that smooth uh, gameplay when we have that i'm not sure when we'll get the dlc if there's a release date there hasn't been one i've seen provided um at least for the bardock dlc i don't think yet and there hasn't been one for ps5 and xbox series x so we're going to be waiting on that but yeah, that's pretty much the news regarding that. Uh, there will be a trailer coming at some point. Uh, it might pop up here, so stay tuned. If you want to watch them, you can go check it out on their YouTube channel. Uh, the chat is kind of <laughs> the chat is kind of toxic though, so enter at your own risk. Um, but here we also have our first look at Majin Buu in the Breakers, and they showed off the farmer, which I have to say it's pretty funny that we finally got the farmer in a game. Um, but the big takeaway here, and let me mute this is that Spopovich and Yamu are actually going to be playable. So there's different stages. This is how it goes. Basically, you have Yamu and Spopovich, and you have to go and collect energy from either the humans or whatever you know race of, of people are there on whatever map you're on. You have to go collect energy enough to basically awaken Boo. Then you play as Majin Boo. Uh, this would be the evil version right there. And then after that, um, once you've obviously leveled up enough, you can transform into Super Boo. Evil Boo comes out and basically eats Majin Boo here, and then you get into Super Boo. After that, you can have a uh, thing that triggers where you all all of the survivors are basically inside of Super Boo, and they have to take out Majin Boo in order for you to evolve into Kid Boo, which is pretty crazy. Um, so that's pretty much the the tidbits here when it comes to this new uh, trailer. They didn't announce the open beta yet, but just know that it is scheduled for next week via Steam. Uh, so it's open beta, 22nd through the 25th, I believe. So I, they should announce it before the end of the stream. If they don't, that's kind of weird. Uh, but that is when it's scheduled, and it should be on all platforms that the game is going to be available to. So be prepared for that. But yeah, that's pretty much all they showed. Um, but I have to say one thing really quick. The fact that the way they structured uh, Majin Buu as a character or a raider in this game is very interesting because, you know, Cell, Frieza traditionally have forms that they go through. So that's been the format that we've kind of been thinking about. But here we see, you know, Buu obviously is not just a oh, transform immediately, right? There's certain circumstances as to how we've gotten to these forms. Uh, so I think it's good to put into perspective of what future DLC villains can we get? Goku Black and Zamasu, after seeing this, is a real possibility um, in the way that they can structure it, right? You can have it be Zamasu, then you can have it be Goku Black and Zamasu, they can have Merge Zamasu, 
Uh, you have merge Zamasu corrupted, right? Or you can structure it different ways. It, it, it can vary. Um, we can get a lot of other different villains. Um, they can make ideas and put them together. Like with Saiyan Saga, they can have a theme for that where it's Raditz. And maybe after you've killed Raditz, you know, two Saiyan pods come down and it's Vegeta and Nappa now. You've got to worry about them. And it works maybe the same way with Spopovich and uh, Yamu, where Nappa is a side AI, AI character you can summon. And, you know, you play as Vegeta mostly up until a point where you get highly damaged and you need to summon, you know, uh, a, the, a basically a, a Blitz Wave ish moon and you need to turn into a Great Ape. And that's like your thing. I don't know. That's, that's kind of the mindset I have after seeing that, that they just have a lot of opportunity here with this game. So. My recommendation to you is, and sorry if you heard me hiccup there, but my recommendation to you is play that beta. It should, I think that they're going to have all of the uh, current, you know, launch villains there as raiders. It would make sense to at least, um, but definitely play that beta, give feedback, all of that, because this game can go places. Uh, trust me, if, if done right, this game can be around for as long as Xenoverse has been around right now, but yeah, uh, I will update on like a community post or anything like that if they do show um, something for, you know, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Because that's really just going to be a trailer. I don't think they're going to actually play through anything. So don't really expect too much of a like a big thing, I think, revolving around it. Um, but yeah, this also is going to be happening. Uh, Xenoverse 2 crossover. Uh, Imperfect Cell or Semi-Perfect Cell is going to actually be... Um, a raid in the game. You can get different outfits. A little event going on. I'm hoping he's actually going to be added to the roster because, I mean, the model's there. No reason not to. But, yeah, so that's pretty much everything that's happening so far. Uh, and, and, yeah, it's, it's been good with Dragon Ball content. We still have uh, DLC you know, 15 to look forward to and whatnot with Gamma 1 and 2. Ho hopefully Orange Piccolo, Beast Gohan later. Yeah, we've got a lot to look forward to for Dragon Ball content. But anyways, I will catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are ready for some more Dragon Ball games. Peace.